All right, here we are back for another one. Uh, happy Thursday, everyone. It's, um, what do we got? It's May 20th here. Today was just exhausting, to be honest. Um, I hung in there, I traded all day long, and even a little bit after hours. So I want to break down today's recap, show you what happened, and uh, show you my mentality, what stocks I got into, and why, and uh, just my mentality behind everything. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe and like if you enjoy this content, because I'm in the market every single day, and I'm trading, and I do my recaps every day. So uh, good stuff to check out. So here we go, diving into the recap here. First off, U1 was the stock that what I was looking at today that was, um, I had a lot of trades in today. I want to go and show you my performance today overall and show you what a just a roller coaster that of a day it was for me. So I did not trade very well today. Um, I'll give you the update on my amount here. I'm up, what is it, 74 bucks on the day. So good to be green, but it was an absolute struggle for me. And uh this is how it started off started off positive up 20 up, then up 49 and then i flushed it um bad trades one after the other went sideways for a while and then dug another hole ended up being my max down was um negative 221 bucks was able to recover from that with a lot of trades going up to about 62 bucks then flushing that once again going negative on the day and then finally digging out of the hole on the last minute and uh going positive 74 bucks on the day so uh stocks are traded prpo was the first one and then i switched over to u1 uh, and i traded that the rest of the day i did have one trade on um clwt it was just a quick trade nothing good there what did i Lost like 30 bucks or something. So um, that was that. So let's look at it real quick. Look at PRPO. Um, I had so many trades, so I'm not going to go over all of them. Uh, PRPO. This one, of course, I was looking at because I had a nice run up in the morning. But to be honest, I didn't trade. I don't think I traded it that well. Um, first two trades were okay. Up 20 bucks and then... 49 so let's see let's just see the time frame when i traded that yeah 955 let's see zoom in here all right so yeah right in here or is where i was trading it uh so two good trades on that and then i think i got caught up in that flush and that's where things started going uh, downhill for me. And so, um, unfortunately, I missed this this next move up. Uh, I think I was in the other room doing something, trying to grab some breakfast or something. And yeah, of course, I missed this this big move here, which would have been nice to capitalize on and missed that and came back, had some FOMO. I uh, went in for another trade and got caught on the flush here. So let me know if you got caught in that one. That was kind of rough. Uh, right now, it just feels like there are certain stocks, you know, you know, well, this week and last week that just wouldn't follow through. They'd, they'd move up a bit and just wouldn't, you know, really follow through. The reason I was trading this one today is I saw potential on the year yearly chart here. It had definitely run up. Um, was it a week ago something like that and had a nice nice run up so i was hoping that maybe we'd get a little bit more continuation on that hopefully but well, we just got a little pop and and then nothing so that's when i started switching gears and moving on over to u1 and this one this is the one that really got me today and i was excited because um this moved up a lot today. Um, not a not an incredible amount, but let me see. What was it up? Yeah, f like 59% on the day. So 
a pretty good move, but the thing what about it initially is it started off slow and it continuously grew. So for me, I'm looking for that fast momentum, things that really spike up fast. And uh, this kind of came up on the radar slow because it just kind of crept in and it didn't, you know, didn't have a f f super fast run up. So I was watching it and then let's see where I first started hopping in. What time frame? 1219. So um, yeah, I got interested right in here. Once we started to see this spike, um, this flash up here, that's where I started getting interested and it went up. Okay. So I started trading it and um, I don't know how I did on my first couple trades. I think I might have capitalized on one and then started um, losing on it because I was trying to get into some trades that would hopefully pop out. And what happened here is I just got in this continuation process of hopping in too late. I wanted confirmation on the trade that things were headed in the right direction. So like, for example, on this, this move here, I think I hopped in on this candle and it flushed. And so I hopped out and then did the same thing here. It was kind of a fake out. So I did that just way too many times and just started digging a hole. And then I saw it start curling down. I said, you know, those things might be done. And it had a correction, leveled off, and then went for another retest here at this $8 area. And so I hopped in for the, you know, possible run past eight and, you know, read it wrong and um, had to stop out. Uh, I think I hopped in right before eight and I was waiting for the push past it. We didn't get it. It failed, you know, ended up taking the loss. And so it was a very frustrating day, just grinding throughout these levels. And then finally we popped through them. And we got the confirmation that this thing started having some strength. But once it got past that, we had this tricky area right in here. Where it was a complete flat top. And so many times I got in here for the next push past 850. And it, was, it would go up, fail. And then I, I thought it would eventually break down from these. And it kept, re, it kept retesting 850 a whole bunch of times. And then I figured, screw it, I'm hopping in for this break. Maybe, you know, it's got to happen. If it tapped it, you know, three, four times already, it's bound to break through it. And so I hopped in. Of course, it flushed. So fake out there, took the loss on that. And then, of course, it curls, comes around, and just rips past 850. So I just struggled all day long. And it was one of those things that's like, this is now showing that it has the potential breaking past these resistance points but i just timed everything wrong and got in all all at the bad times and you know it would take my loss and then i would see it um correct and and, and um break through so just a very grinding grinding day i took so many trades on this thing i'm not going to go through the rest of them but this was an interesting portion of the day too where it it grinded up and I'm thinking to myself, man, it's already up this much, whatever it was at the time, let's call it 50% up on the day, it gets into this area and I'm thinking it's got to, it's, you know, going up this much, it's got to have a serious correction. I was waiting for a huge flush. That's what I thought would happen. And it didn't, it just kept grinding up slowly and then had a weird slow grind down. I would have figured that there would have been a serious massive flush. So here, here was a critical part, part for me. I started to do an all right on it. I think going up in this direction, I was doing all right. I, I got, let me look at my chart here. Cause that's when I started getting back into the positive area and I go, okay, not bad, Joey, you were down negative 221 and now you're up. Uh, what was it? Uh, yes, yeah, where I started going positive in here. Now I'm up 94 bucks. That's great. And um, this is where things got the best of me. So this was actually really tricky. I don't. I want to know if anyone else experienced this, but um, I don't know if it was just E Trade or 
this stock in particular, but um, right in this spike here, I ended up hopping in and let me see if I can find, I want to find the timestamps for you guys because this thing, uh, was it here? Let me see the time frame. 310, 1510. Yeah, right here. Look at this. I, I, I hopped in because I, um, you know, we had the trend down and then it looked like we were going to have a correction here. So I was hopping up for the for this leg up, hopped in initially, threw in an order, and it got filled at 933. And then that thing, that's where things fro like froze on me or it just hesitated just for a split second. And so I went in for another um another buy and got filled at 965 high up here. And the thing just absolutely reversed and dumped. But the problem there was once I got filled after that second order, things just froze up on me. So I couldn't tell if it was my internet or my computer or if it was just the stock in general. I was trying to, um, you can tell, look at, I had all these cancel orders trying to cancel out of it because I didn't know if I was filled or not. And then my position actually showed me that I was filled. Average was like nine, 48 i think and nothing was changing on my position so uh it was a weird moment in time where things froze and uh i i tried canceling all my orders my position wasn't even changing at all like usually you know it shows my profit loss um instantly and it's updating me but it that froze so i went ahead and just restarted my computer at that point restarted the uh the internet and it took like i don't know a few minutes i think it might have been five or ten minutes to where i got back to it and i realized i'm still holding the position 948 and we're way down here and so i'm like are you kidding me so i ended up writing this entire thing through and i go i was down i think about 300 to 400 bucks down at this low um when I got back to everything. And so I go, you know what? I'm going to try to ride it for a bounce. Possibly I'm, I'm already in this low down three or 400 bucks. And so I lucked out because we had a correction here and everything was acting normal again. So I was just riding this through, just sitting on my hands and we got up into this area here where, um, it was 949 was my average cost. So I wanted just that test of, of 50 and i was gonna the plan was to sell and so i didn't time it perfectly but i ended up getting out right in here i think it was like 9 41 so i took a bit of a loss on that you know puts me down on the day again and then flushes so i felt decent about that but then it had a correction and blows past 950 and so this that's where i just meant that that mental part of me was just i was frustrated all over the place and ended up buying it again um in my last pages position and got in i wish i could remember my average size at that po that point so anyways the day closes and i decide you want let me let me hold this position and it had to be what was it um I was sitting in at nine, what was it? I'm trying to remember here. Uh, no, I think it was not, oh, it was 9.58. That's where I was at. And after hours, I'd left the room once again, came back, it had ripped past this level and it was such a quick move. The idea for me was I wanted it to get um, uh, past the you know 960 area, and we got that for a split second. But I I you know didn't sell it, and then we get this flush and it goes sideways. And so I'm thinking I'm holding this thing, and I'm like I might just have to dump this. Like this is getting risky. I'm down, you know, holding the position, I'm down um, 300 bucks, roughly. 
and it was down 58 bucks on the day already. So I'm sitting red. Right, I'm just like, this is bad news bears and I might just have to dump the position. And luckily enough, I waited and had some patience. It pulled through surprisingly. Okay. We get this rip right up into this 975 area, but I sold, I sold right as we got that, this little push here thinking that if I can get out, you know, positive here, I'll be lucky. So I did ended up selling and that put me up 54 bucks green on the day. So here I am, you know, happy, very happy that I got out of the entire mess that I was in. And then later on, you know, I go for a walk later, come back to my computer. I probably should have shut it down, but see this thing rip. Look at this candle. This is just stupid, ridiculous from 988 all the way up to, let's call it, yeah, for that second candle, 1114. So, uh, it's like, God dang it. I mean, yeah, this, this is part of the, you know, part of the thing on day trading. And for me, I, I just took so many trades today, very exhausting day. And I feel like I could just never get on the right side of things. But I got to say, I'm happy to be green, up 74 bucks, end of the day. And uh, like I mentioned, I, mi I missed uh, the last, uh, what, 25 bucks on the day was I took a little, uh, just a quick trade on a dump here. It was right in here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I got in at 1098, sold at 1105 just for a quick something. It was risky, but I figured, hey, it ripped up high and I had a, pretty big pull off from that. So I just wanted a little bounce. Um, you know, I think that was pretty greedy, but at the same time, put me up 25 bucks on the day and that's where I'm calling it. So good things are with this stock in particular, it just creates a lot of momentum, especially with this huge move here. So, uh, who knows, uh, what's interesting on this yearly chart? Is it this thing, why I was really excited about trading this today was in the past, this, this has had a huge move from, look at this, 215 at its high to 54 bucks. So this thing has potential for sure. It's just a matter of catching that potential in the right time. Like, look at this, we had a spike here at the beginning, beginning of the year and uh, spiked up and just didn't continue it, it failed. Uh, and consolidated had another spike up later on but this thing definitely has potential so uh who knows maybe tomorrow this thing might open up huge this could be a big runner tomorrow uh but i don't know if there's only going to be any news on this or if this is just day traders kind of um pumping this thing a bit but uh it does have potential for sure it's shown it in the past and it can move heavy um this could this could open up tomorrow super you know, much lower where it was trading at before, back down to five, six bucks. Who knows? Anyways, I did get green on it today, but it was very, it was, a, it was a struggle. So as you can tell, just from this, <laughs> me walking through this recap here, I'm, I'm uh, kind of just mentally exhausted from it. So that's where I'm sitting today. Let me know what you traded. Um, we'll recap this real quick again. This was the performance, just crazy up and down all day. And um, here's the calendar. So this week's been just pathetic for how much I've been trading. You know, eight bucks Monday, two, uh, six bucks Tuesday, 74 yesterday. And that was on a swing trade from AMC. Um, and oh, got to update this. What was it? 74. So up 162 bucks on this week, which again is nothing because I can easily, as I've shown you today, I was down at one point, um, you know, 300, 400 bucks red and uh, lucked out and was able to capitalize and get green. But I can easily wipe out this, this, this progress from this week up 162 bucks is nothing and nothing but a, you know, a fast red day to easily knock that out. So I'm not feeling that great about it, but I am feeling great about the fact that we did have a stock that finally kind of pushed through. It was a grind, but 
you know, we've got some momentum now. So hopefully some other stocks pop up from this and we get some um, some stuff to play tomorrow. And unfortunately, I got to do some work stuff tomorrow. Got to go over to a uh, rental property and deal with some stuff going on over there. So um, I'm kind of bummed because I'm not going to be able to trade bunch tomorrow. So, you know, if tomorrow does bring some a lot of momentum, I'm going to be feeling some FOMO, which is not good. But anyways, I want to hear from you guys. I want to find out how you traded today. What what did you trade? Did you make some big green on U1? Uh, I'd like to hear from you. And one more thing before we wrap up, too. I will, um, you know, I've been still watching AMC. Um, I forgot to mention yesterday that at the end of the day yesterday, I did sell my position on AMC. That's how I got up 74 bucks yesterday. Um, I forgot where I sold, like 12.42, I think. But I ended up buying back in later in the day, towards the end of the day. I think it was at, uh, what am I holding right now? 12.49. So that's what I'm holding right now. Not a not a very big um, position here, but I don't know. This, this AMC looks like it's struggling. Um, there's still a lot of talk that this thing can has the potential to really squeeze hard, but I just don't know. Um, I like my day trade stuff because I can get in, get out, and don't have to worry about holding a position, but I'm still playing this one, and it's a small position, but we'll see what it brings, so um, that would be cool if it really does rip through, but you know what? I figure it's like, if it does rip, I, c I can, you know, day trade it too, and I can... Um, I might not make as much money, but the fact that I can get in and get out and just ride that momentum if it does decide to take off, I feel a little bit more comfortable with that. So I don't know if the swing trading is, is the best for me at this point in time, although I did made a little bit of green on AMC, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it brings. That's it for now. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, take care and have a good one.